So the 2024 presidential election is in about 25 days as of recording this. So we're really close to it. And I thought it'd be very fitting to do an electoral map prediction uh, at this point. And just to preface, Trump is doing really good in the polls. In uh, 2020 and 2016, the polls really undercut his performance by several points. Uh, The election that year in 2020 was decided by a few thousand votes in Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and and Arizona. Uh, And the RCP polling averages for each of those states had Biden ahead by like five points when he only won by less than a point. So I'm really going to be factoring that into uh, this prediction here today. So let's start on the West Coast, Nevada. Um, This is actually a surprise. Let's just take a quick look at the polling uh, out of the state. So Trump was ahead consistently um, until about late August. Now he's ahead again uh, with a 0.2 RCP average lead. Now, you may think that's a very small margin, and it is, but uh, Trump has never won this state. Um, It was within a few tens of thousands of votes in 2020, so I think he has a real opportunity of picking up uh, Nevada this time, so we're going to give that to him. Next, we'll take a look at Arizona. Um, Another state, 10,000 votes in 2020, really a very small margin. And recent polling shows Trump ahead by half a percentage point. Uh, That's not much, but again, factoring in the uh, undercutting of Trump's support, you know, I think he could win that state by a few points and uh, possibly even Carrie Lake could pull ahead in that state. Uh, That's to be seen. That's a different race. We're not going to get super into that. All right, so that's the West Coast. Um, We got Nevada and Arizona going to Trump. Uh, Right off the bat, we'll give Florida to Trump. It's firmly uh, on his side. Let's take a look at Georgia, a state Trump lost in 2020. Um, Again, polling in 2020 undercounted his support. It was decided by like 10,000 votes. Trump's ahead by half a percentage point here. Uh, So I think... On election day, we'll find out he wins Georgia by a couple percentage points. So, again, he'll get Georgia. Let's look at North Carolina. The race has been tightening up there uh, for a multitude of reasons. Recent polling does show Trump ahead by half a percentage point. He won the state both times previously. Um, So I really think that... And and here, actually, uh, RCP shows the polling. So they had Biden and Clinton ahead by two point about two and a half percentage points, and Trump won it both times. So he's going to win the state by a few percentage points. Uh, That's firmly in his camp. So let's just look at the uh, electoral vote count so far. 260 to 226. That's extremely close. And I know here they have um, the districts from Maine and Nebraska uh, split. So if that changed, that could bump this to 269, but we're not really going to speculate on that. Let's look at Wisconsin next, um, starting with the Midwestern states. Harris ahead by 0.3. Um, look at, so on this day in history, 2020 Biden 6%, Clinton 6.8. Uh, Trump won in 16 by 10,000 votes, lost in 2020 by like 10,000 votes. They elected a Republican senator in 2022 by a few thousand votes, a smaller margin than Trump won by. Um, so I think Wisconsin is really going to Donald Trump. Uh, that's that's the most likely outcome I see. So let's talk about Michigan next. This is a state where Trump was really ahead for a while. I mean, look at this lead when Biden was in the race. He was the, the spread was huge. Um, and then obviously Kamala came in and it changed things a little bit. But as we're getting closer to the election, perhaps the polls are shifting a little bit. And let's again, let's take a look at uh, the previous elections. 6.7% and 7.3%. Um, Trump lost by 
a, a few tens of thousands of votes in 2020. He won by 10, 20,000 votes in 16. And he's ahead by about a point in the polling. Um, so I think he wins Michigan by these metrics by a point or two. So that leaves us with Pennsylvania. And um, following the theme, the trend, uh, again, Trump's ahead by half a percentage point in the RCP average. Uh, in 2020 and 16, he was losing by 7 and 9%. Um, again, I think these polls are undercutting his support. Um, so we're going to give Pennsylvania to Donald Trump. So this is the filled out map. Uh, this is my map prediction for November 5th, if we get the election results then. This is a walk off. Um, this is even a bigger win than Trump had in 2016 with the addition of Nevada here. And in, in addition to all of the other states that he carried in 2016 and didn't in 2020. So as of now, uh, a couple of weeks out from election day, voting starting in many states, um, it's looking like Donald Trump's going to win. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how accurate this map is. Uh, in a couple of weeks, you can come back and comment if I was right or wrong. And let me know what you think about this map in the comments, whether you think it's accurate, this could happen. Personally, I think this is the most likely outcome. Uh, but, you know, that's to be seen. So uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Mind Over Media. And until next time.